record breaker. Now, where did I put that tool? Hmm. There it is. Hello, Grandpa. Hmm. Oh, uh, hello, Zoo. <laughs> what have you got there? I saw it on your bedside table and I... Ah, uh. uh, yes, I was reading it last night. Whoops. Here, let me give you a hand. Thanks, Grandpa. I don't understand what it's about, Grandpa. Why are these zebras doing all these funny things? Are they in some sort of circus? No, no. They're setting records. Records? Yes. Odd and unusual, but records all the same. You see, setting a record means doing something better than anybody else in the world. For example, um, ah, knitting the longest scarf for, uh, or growing the largest vegetable or... Or walking upside down with the tallest pile of cubes on your feet. Yes. And when you've set a record, you get yourself into the Zebra Book of <laughs> Records. So, can anyone set a record? Anyone. Even a youngster like you. <laughs> like me? <laughs> Ooh, something smells good. Mmm, yes it does. So, Chef, what have you got for us that smells so delicious? <laughs> May I present for your dining pleasure Grandma's special oh. vegetable soup. Mm. Uh, your attention, please. Zoo has an important announcement to make. Oh? oh? I have decided to get myself into the Zebra Book of Records. A record? <laughs> oh, how exciting! Great idea! Fancy having a family member in the Zebra Book of Records. <laughs> so, what record are you going to set? Oh, um, uh... I'm not sure yet, but... You could set the record of the foal with the most kisses from his nana. How about the zebra who tidies his room most often? Mm. Or mm. the grandson who finishes his bowl of Grandma's delicious vegetable soup? Thank you, thank you, but if it's going to be my record, I've got to decide what it is. Uh, well, yes, mm. it's so who has record. to find it? So I'll just go and have a little think and... Uh, lunch first, Zoo. Mm. Oh. Can I get down now, please, Mum? All right. I'll let you know when I've decided. Huh? Now, let's see. Hmm. You like that one? <laughs> you would, Pock. The record for the bees' collection of feathers. Hmm. Perhaps I could set a record with feathers too. Hmm. Got it. The zebra who can be tickled by a feather the longest. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> that doesn't count. I wasn't ready. Mm. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> stop! Stop! No word from Zoo yet? No. I wonder how it's going. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it looks like he could do with a little help with his record. <laughs> you tickled the wrong ear, Pock. My other ear isn't as ticklish. Um, Sue, I don't think that's the problem. Try mm. using a special breathing technique. First, take a deep breath. <gasps> then, hold it and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! Stop! 
<laughs> Maybe you better find a different record to set. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Maybe I can do something with daisies. Yes, a daisy chain. The longest daisy chain ever. <laughs> Could you put it there, please? Uh, where it's nice and shady. Just the spot for an afternoon nap. <laughs> oh, not hmm? again. Hmm. Do? <gasps> huh? hmm. Having trouble, Zoo? I'm trying to make the longest daisy chain ever, but I can't even tie two of them together. Hmm. Well, maybe I can help. When I was young, I was the school daisy necklace champion. <laughs> Here, let me show you. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. I seem to have lost my touch. <laughs> Never mind. I think of something else. You're still my favourite Nano. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still my favourite zoo. <laughs> 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 hmm. Come on, Pork. So, uh, this is your record attempt, eh? Yes. It's going to be the highest heap of pebbles ever built by a little zebra. <laughs> hmm. Oh, no. Oh, don't worry. You can't always succeed first time round. Hmm. I've tried all sorts of records, but they just don't work. I'm out of ideas. <sighs> hmm. I know what. Why don't you have a nice long soak in the bath? Hmm? Well, the bath's the place where I have all my best ideas. Come on. If you say so. No ideas for your record yet, Zoo? No, this bath isn't working. Let's just wait a little longer. Hmm. Hey, I think I've got an idea, Grandpa. Aha! See? I told you the bath was the best place for a good think. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the fastest soap bubble popper of all time who will now set the record of 20 popped bubbles in one minute. No. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, go! One, two, three, four, Oh dear, Zoo. Time's up. Oh. Five popped bubbles. Not bad for a first hmm. try. The wind will drop soon. You can try again then. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. This was just a hmm. practice go. You're not going to let a little breeze stand between you and your record, are you? <laughs> As if. Hmm. <gasps> go! <gasps> just a spot of bad luck. And we'll make sure it doesn't happen next time. Yes, we'll clear all obstacles out of the garden. There's not going to be a next time. What? what? I don't need to set a record. I've already got one. You have? Yep. So, what is it? <laughs> Can't you guess? Oh, just hurry up and tell us. I'm the zebra with the most loving and kind and helpful family in the whole wide world. And that must be a record. Oh, <laughs> oh Zoo. <laughs> that sounds like fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. 
Zoo learns to swim. For you, Puck. <laughs> Puck. <laughs> oh, hi, Zinnia. Hello, Aunt Zelda. Uncle Xavier. We're going to the beach. Mummy and Daddy are taking me there. And would you like to come and play with me? Mum. It's Zinnia. She says I can go to the mm. beach with her. And we're going to build the biggest sandcastle ever in the whole world! Aren't we, Daddy? Uh, that's right, Zinnia Pops. What fun. Hello, Zelda, Xavier. So, Zinnia, you're going to play on the beach, are you? Can I go too, Mum? Of course you can. I'm sure you'll have great... <laughs> Yippee! Mm. Huh? Where did you go? Here I am, all ready for sand castles. And we're going to play games, aren't we, Mummy? Yes, dear. After I've finished reading my magazines. <laughs> <laughs> Badminton? I've got something else to do. Some, uh, some homework. Oh. Homework, Zoo? Yes, I've got a homework assignment to finish. Sorry. Hmm. Daddy, can we go and ask Zack instead? Of course we can, Zinny Pops. Hooray! We're going to the seaside. We're going to the seaside. Bye. 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 Zoo? coming along. If you get it finished quickly, I could take you down to the beach to play with Zinnia. Thanks, Mum, but I think it's going to take a while. Mm, you might get on better with your book the right way up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Pop. seem all right to you at breakfast? Mm. No, but yes, he, he seemed fine. Mm. Why do you ask? It's just he seems to be a bit out of sorts. He says he's got some homework to do and, well, he's usually quite happy to get on with it. <sighs> yeah, I'll go and see if he needs a spot of help. Right, Sue, about this homework of yours. <laughs> It can't be that hard. Let's have a look at it and see what's what. I haven't got any homework. Oh, oh sorry, Pock. Sue, something's the matter, isn't it? Well? Mmm. What is it? <laughs> you can tell your old grandpa. Ah. <sighs> grandpa, I can't swim. Oh, 
Oh, is that all? I couldn't swim either when I was your age. Zinnia asked me to go to the beach and it sounded like fun. But she said they were going to swim. But I can't swim and she'll make fun of me and... I'm sure she wouldn't. But I tell you what, why don't we go to the beach right now and I'll teach you to swim. <gasps> Thanks, Grandpa. Mm, they might still be there, though. Then, then we'll go first thing tomorrow morning. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm coming as quickly as I can. <laughs> well, well, a pair of very early risers. <laughs> Grandpa's going to teach me how to swim. Oh, <laughs> just as soon as I've dealt with this crab, get off! Oh, oh. <laughs> What do we do now, Grandpa? Well, first of all, you need to get used to the water. Now, grab hold of my arms, and now lift your feet off the ground. What? Both of them? <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you. Um... Now, kick your legs. That's it. Try and keep them quite straight and kick, kick, kick. That's it. Well done, Zoo. Keep it up. Hey, <laughs> swimming's easy. <laughs> Hang on, Zoo. You haven't quite learned it yet. So what's next? That's it, Zoo. Keep it up. <laughs> OK, Zoo. Now, next, I want you to turn around. OK. Now lean back. <gasps> I've got you. Ooh. That's it. A, a, a little further. All right, take a deep breath. That'll help to keep you floating. <gasps> OK. And kick again, like before. <laughs> Well done, Zoo. I think you're about ready for the next step. <laughs> now, turn around again and face me. And take my hands. Kick off from the seabed. That's it. Well done, Zoo. Great stuff, Zoo. Keep it up. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Zinnia. Lovely to see you. And what can we do for you? Has Sue done his homework? His homework? Uh, I'm not sure. But I can't ask him, I'm afraid. He's not here. He's at the beach with his grandpa. Ooh. I'm sorry, Zinnia. I get the feeling there's a reason why Zoo isn't at home. Yes. Did you see how his mood changed when Zinnia mentioned swimming yesterday? He probably can't. Unlike our little poppet. Of course he can. He's older than me. And anyway, he's down at the beach so we can go and play with him. Hooray! <laughs> Bravo, Zoo! <laughs> Zoo! Yoo-hoo! Zoo! Hey, Zinnia! Zoo? Come on in! The water's lovely when you get used to it. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? Mom! Dad! See, I said Zoo could swim! Oh! Well done! Well done Excellent! Zoo, keep going! Very good! That's it! <laughs>
Grandpa, what's this? Whoops! Oh, oh what's this? <laughs> oh, it's wet is what it is. Oh, what's this, Grandpa? Hmm? Uh, well, let's see. Um, I think it's Dabalox seaweed. You can eat it, you know. <laughs> Not that I'd like to try it, mind. Hmm. Me neither. It feels too hard to eat. Mm hmm? Great Scott! Grandpa, what is it? Well, that, unless I'm very much mistaken, that's a brain coral. A brain? A, a brain coral? It's a sort of coral usually found in warm coastal waters. Wow! That's brain coral. <laughs> How'd it get here? I, I suppose it must have drifted here on the currents. You're lucky to have found it, Zoo. That's the sort of thing you usually only find in museums <laughs> round here. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, I've just had a great idea. <laughs> All your ideas are great, Zoo. Uh, what's this one? You know what Zowie said about only finding things like this in a museum? Uh-huh. I'm going to start a museum, <sighs> and this will be the first thing in it. Now, that is a great idea, Zoo. <gasps> oh, dear. Doesn't sound as if Nana's cold's getting any better. Poor Nana. I'll go and see how she is. After I've put this in my museum. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Pock. That coral's very precious. Let's go and see how Nana is. We can tell her all about my museum. A trip to a museum is a great way to take your mind off things. C come in! <laughs> it's you! Hello, Nana. I just came to see how you are. I'm fine, thank you, Zoo, except for this silly cold. <laughs> Zoo? Um, could you get me another cup of honey and lemon for my throat? Yes, Nana. <gasps> wow! It's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> that belonged to my great-great-grandmother, you know. Really? Wow! Nana, could I borrow this for my museum? A museum? I'm starting a museum. I've got some coral, and I'll need some other interesting things to put in it. And when I've finished it, perhaps you'd like to come and see it? Well, I'd love to. And of course, you must have that cup. So, could you bring me some honey and lemon in a different cup? <laughs> of course I could. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mum, Nana would like another hot honey and lemon, please. But it's not in this cup, because it's going in my museum. You could put those in your museum too, Zoo. Ooh, what are they? Oh, they were going to be seed cakes, only I left them in the oven for too long. They're burnt to a crisp. Yes. An excellent example of carbon. Uh, like coal. <laughs> I tell you what, Zoo, there might be a few things in my garage that'd go in your museum. Brilliant! Something that Nana would be interested in. Let's go, Grandpa. Oh, hey, what about Nana's lemon and honey? Oh. <laughs> you missed a bit. I haven't got to that bit yet. Ooh. What's that, Dad? I don't know, Zoo. Could be an eagle feather or an ostrich's. Wow. Can I have that for my museum? Oh, hang on, Zoo. All the best museum curators have a special way of collecting exhibits like that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where did I... Oh, hello. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Here we are. <laughs> Here you go, Zoo. Put on these gloves and use them to pick up the feather, just like a scientist in a laboratory. <laughs> oh, there's no telling where that feather might have been. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you know what? I think this is an albatross feather. Wow! Well, if it is, it'll be very rare. Just the sort of thing for your museum, Zoo. Yes, I like your feathers too, Pock. But this one's important. Come 
on, Grandpa. Let's go and find some more important stuff in the garage. Grandpa. Now, this <gasps> would look good in any museum. This telescope belonged to my great uncle, Captain Zentry. He was an explorer, you know. He gave me this when I was about your <laughs> age. Wow! <laughs> what? What's so funny? You've gone all little, Grandpa. <laughs> You've got it the wrong way around. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this has to go in the museum. Thank you, Grandpa. We'll pop anything interesting we find into this box here. It'll make it easier to carry back to Zoo's Museum of Interesting Things. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can find. What's this, Grandpa? Oh, <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. It's a medal I got when I was young. It's a bravery medal. <laughs> That's me, see? Wow! This has to go in my museum. Nana must have been so proud of you. <laughs> oh. hmm. Now then, what about this? This is the very paintbrush the ancient Egyptians used to paint the pyramids. Bright green! That was their favorite color, you know. Really? Wow, I didn't know. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Grandpa. The pyramids aren't green. <laughs> Just my little joke. <laughs> oh, now this would look good in your museum, though. Captain Zentry's very own storm lamp. <laughs> uh... Grandpa, did you see that? It moved. Oh, so it did. Oh, now that would be a good exhibit. <laughs> a haunted paint pot. Pork, how did you get there? Pork, I hope you haven't caught Nana's cold. <gasps> Nana! What about her? I forgot about her honey and lemon. Come on, Grandpa. <gasps> cool. Look, Grandpa, how did these teeth get here? Well, oh, bless my soul. Careful, Puck. They might bite. Hmm. I'll give them a closer look later. Right now, Nana needs her honey and lemon. Uh, 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 achoo! Sorry I forgot about your honey and lemon, Nana. Oh, that's all right, Sue. Your mum brought me <laughs> some. Yes, she said. But my museum of interesting things is all ready for you to come and see. Oh, I think a trip to the museum will make me feel <laughs> much better. See you there, Nana. Oh, yes. <laughs> and this is my brain coral. They're usually found in warm coastal waters, so discovering one at a beach near us was... Mm. Here comes Nana. So this is your museum of interesting... <laughs> My teeth! Your teeth? But what were they doing in the garden? Well, I have been sneezing rather a lot. I must have sneezed them out of the window earlier on. <laughs> I wondered where they'd got to. <laughs> and here they are in your wonderful museum. But I'd think I'd better have them back if that's all right with you, Sue. Of course, Nana. They are yours, after all. Oh, thank you, Sue. In that case, I'll give you two kisses. <laughs> one for finding my teeth. <laughs> and one for making me feel so much better. <laughs> this museum of yours works wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo gets framed. Uh, um, a, a little more to the left. 
No, no, a bit more to the right. <laughs> oh, dear. The place uh, is as sparkling oh. as a new pin. Uh, well, I'm glad you approve. Uh, just as long as you don't want me to move the piano again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These frames, Nana, did they have some of your paintings in them? Oh, I gave up painting a long time ago, Sue. Well, in that case, we'll take these away for you. Oh, please do. I'll be glad to see the back of them. They've been taking up space in my cupboard for far too long. <laughs> Thank you both for all your hard work. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to listen to Lady's Hour now. <laughs> yes, Nana. You relax. <laughs> Good idea, Zoo. You think on your feet, <laughs> like me. Hello. Oh, hello. We've just dropped by to remind everyone about our event this week. Art in the modern world. Ah, oh, yes, yes, it's a date. <laughs> Oh, the Nana's cast-offs. You're welcome to them for your gallery. Uh, thank you. But I don't think they're our kind of thing. Oh, well, no problem. They're going into my shed for now. Are you two ready oh. yet? Your tea's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Grandpa, if we clean these up hmm. a bit, I could start my own gallery. Oh, that's a good idea, <laughs> Zoo. I'm going to paint some new pictures just for these frames. <laughs> that should do it, Pock. I'll be able to do some cool pictures now. <laughs> mm, I'll make a picture for this one first. <laughs> you do, Pock. I don't think they're very good. Well, I think this is lovely. Oh. Oh, and, and this one, too. Oh, they're all good, Zoo. Oh, I really don't like them at all, Grandpa. Oh, even famous artists have their off days, Zoo. Sometimes a change of scene gives you a different view on things. Really? Absolutely. I'm sure if you do something else for a while, you'll feel better. But... What should I do if I don't want to paint? Mm -hmm. Well, um, cleaning up the frames might be just the thing to help you feel more creative. What do you think? All right, Grandpa. I guess I can try. This polish will clean up the frame a treat, Sue. Thanks, Grandpa. Mm. <laughs> I think you need a change of pace. Why not help me in the garden for a bit? All right, Grandpa. <clears throat> right, Sue. We're going to mix this sand in with the soil. Sand is very good for my vegetable patch. It makes the soil drain water better. <clears throat> this is fun, Grandpa. It's taking my mind off painting. Oops! <laughs> Never mind, Sue. It'll do for compost. Oh, that's a pretty colour. It would look nice on the picture frame. Oh, but it's sand. Ah, but we can use it as paint. In fact, sand painting is a wonderful idea. Do I have to squash more beetroot to get the colour? <laughs> oh, no, Zoo. Mr Zoe will have everything we need. Come on, let's go and see him. No time like the present. You'll have fun with those today, Zoo. What are you going to paint? Sand. Sand? Yes. Can we have these too? Righto, we'll take all these powdered paints, please, Mr Zoe. And that should cover the cost. Thank you. Enjoy the sand painting, Sue. Have fun. <laughs> Z, 
easy, Zoo. Shaking the sand and paint powder together colours the sand. Oh, that's clever, Grandpa. <laughs> you try it, Zoo. It's easy to do. <laughs> and try this one, Zoo. Thanks, Grandpa. Right, oh, Zoo. Now for another fun bit. <laughs> we uh, just need to put glue on the frame first. And now, you pour on the sand paint. All right. Here goes. Like this, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. See, Zoo, we can use the bits that fall off another time. And then, you're left with... Oh, wow! Grandpa, the sand paint hmm. stuck to the frame. That's right. <laughs> And I've only put the glue in places on here, so you can add different colours later. <gasps> That's brilliant, Grandpa. Orange would look nice too. Orange it is, Zoo. You give the pot a shake and I'll put on more glue. <laughs> I love this, Grandpa. <laughs> yes, Sue. I'm having fun, too. But let's see how many different <laughs> styles we can do. Grandpa, they look really good. Hmm. Yes, but they look a bit empty. Hmm. I know what to do. <laughs> what do you think? I think the orange in the frame looks lovely with the butterfly. You're right, Grandpa. It looks nice. <laughs> oh, Pog thinks so. Hmm. Now, uh, that gives me an idea. yoo -hoo. Only us. Hi. Hello. Hello. I, uh, uh we, uh... Well, we... we thought we could take those frames off your hands after all. Yes, some of ours have got broken in storage, so it would be great if we could take yours. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. But you're too late. Oh. <gasps> Follow me, and all will be revealed. Well, I never. What is on those frames? Oh, yes. What is that? Sand paint. My, <laughs> what a clever idea. They look wonderful. I oh. agree. I've been watching from upstairs. It's lovely to see my old frames looking so pretty. Yes, well done, Zoo. Great frames, great pictures. I'm sure you have a future as an artist. Thank you, Uncle Xavier. But I don't think you would have said that earlier today. Why not, Zoo? I wasn't having a good day and didn't like what I painted. I thought I'd never want to paint again. Ah, yes, but then I told you that even the best artists have days when they don't want to paint. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Zygmunt and Zorosta are just like that sometimes. Yes, and then they go off and do something else. And when they come back to their painting, they feel better. Just like I did. Exactly, Zoo. And the end result is wonderful. Look what you've done to those old oh. frames. And your pictures are super. They certainly are wonderful, Bizu. Indeed they are. I'm a very proud dad. Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. And I'm a very proud Nana. <laughs> yes, Zoo, you certainly have your talent for painting from someone, <laughs> but not from me. <laughs> Zoo and the missing page. Hmm. 
It's not here, Grandma. Oh, no. It isn't here either. Where can it be? I can't finish your Grandpa's jumper without my knitting pattern. Um... I've looked there already, Zoo. Yes, but not here, Grandma. <gasps> Ta-da! Found it. Well done, Zoo. I always keep my knitting patterns in an envelope. <laughs> oh, that's not a knitting pattern, Grandma. It's an old book. Oh, well, so it is. <laughs> I wonder how it got there. Zing the zebra. Hey, <laughs> he looks a bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> so he does. <laughs> hmm. It says it's about a young zebra called Zing who finds a mysterious city at the bottom of his garden. Wow! Sounds exciting. You can keep it if you like. It probably belonged to your dad when he was little. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. But we still haven't found your knitting pattern. Let's keep looking. <gasps> Here it is. <laughs> well done, Zoo. Oh, I must have kicked it under there by accident. <laughs> or Grandpa did. <laughs> I'm going to my bedroom to read this book. You do that. <gasps> <laughs> what? Where's the last page? Maybe it fell out. Hmm, it's not there, is it, Pock? Maybe two pages stuck together. Oh, no. Hmm. What is it, Pock? Hmm. Huh? No, Pock. It's definitely not here. But I've got to know what happened to Zing. Bizu? Who's Zing? And what are you doing down there on your hands and knees? Zing's the little zebra in the book Grandma mm. gave me. But the last page is missing. Oh, dear. I'll help you look for it. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Hmm. Oh, you lost something? Yes, the last page of your old Zing the Zebra book. This isn't mine. I've never seen it before. <laughs> and you'd know if it was your book. He knows all his old books by heart. Oh, yes. Let's see. There was Zachary the Zebra, who lost his stripes. Zoltan the King. Then there was... <laughs> we'll be here forever if you're going to list mm -hmm. them all, dear. True. Very true. Well, it's definitely not here, Zoo. Unless it's written in invisible ink on invisible paper. Oh, I'll never know what happened to Zing now. What's the matter? We've lost the last page of this book. Zing the Zebra. Uh, mm -hmm. Zing the... No, I don't remember seeing this before. Oh, I really want to know how it ends. <laughs> you might be able to find the book on the internet. Let's go and have a look. Here you go, Sue. See what you can find out. Zing the Zebra. Oh. Uh, try the author's name. See if that works. Zebedee Zola. Oh, nothing. Oh, that is a pity. <sighs> Such a nice looking book, too. <gasps> Maybe Mr. Zoe's got an old copy in his shop. Good idea, Zoo. <laughs> that store cupboard of his is stuffed with all sorts of things. Hmm. <laughs> That'll be Mrs. Zolly. She said she might drop around. Hello. Hello there. I've got you that lavender clipping I promised you. Mmm, smells lovely. Thank you. And how are you today, Zoo? I'm fine, Mrs. Zolly. But, well, have you ever heard of Zing the Zebra? Hmm, no, Zoo. I can't say I have. Hmm, it's a book. But the last page isn't there. I thought Mr. Zoe might have a copy. Ah, well, that's perfect timing, Zoo. I was just on my way there. You can come with me if you like. Thanks, Mrs. Zoli. <laughs> hello, Mrs. Zoli. Well, hello, Zoo. Hello, Mrs. Zoli. What can I do for you this fine morning? Hello, Mr. Zoe. I'd like two tins of mushy peas, please. I do enjoy mushy peas and chips. Two tins of mushy peas 
coming up. Um, Mr Zoe, have you got a copy of this book, Zing the Zebra? Oh! Uh... Somebody called Zebedee Zola wrote it, but I can't find out anything about him. It's as if he's vanished into thin air. Ah, I see. Well, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Sue. Uh, I have heard of the author, but it was a very long time ago. Uh, and I'm afraid I, I don't keep that mm. book in stock. Uh, but I've lots of other books. You can have one for free. Hmm. Thanks, Mr Zoe, but I just wanted the Zing book. Mm, I understand, Sue. I know what it's like when you set your heart on something. Uh, that's for the peas, Mr Zoe. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, Mrs Zolly. Right, oh, Zoe. If we can't get your book here, I think we'd better get you home. Suppose so. Bye. Bye. Oh, I wish I knew how the book ended. Then so you will, Zoo. We'll go and ask everyone we know until we find something out. How's that? <sighs> Sounds good, Grandpa. Come on, then. <laughs> no time like the present. Yay! It seems no one's heard of Zing. Hmm, we've asked everyone. Oh, hang on. Nana keeps a lot of old newspaper clippings. Maybe she could help. Good thinking, Zoo. Come on, let's go and find out. <laughs> oh, well, it's not in that one. You've got a lot of old newspaper stories, Nana. You could open a library. Oh, <laughs> I probably could, Sue. <laughs> but I like them to hand when I want to look at them. <laughs> oh, now what's this? Oh, that looks like the cover of Zing the Zebra. It is Zing the Zebra. It says, here's a picture of Zebedee Zola with his book, Zing the Zebra. You know, Sue. He reminds me of someone. <gasps> Mr. Mr. Zoe! Zoe. No. <gasps> oh, my, so it is. <laughs> he was very handsome in his youth. <laughs> so Mr. Zoe wrote Sing the Zebra after all. Yes, now I remember. I cut that story from a newspaper years ago after I bought the book. Then Grandma must have picked it up by accident. But why didn't Mr. Zoe tell me he's written the book? Hmm. Maybe we should ask him, Zoo. Wow! So you wrote a book, Dad? You never told me! It was a very long time ago, Zack, and I... But why didn't you say you'd written Zing the Zebra when I asked you about it, Mr. Zoe? Well, Zoo, the book didn't sell at all well. I thought I had no future as a writer, so I dropped my writing name of Zebedee Zola and opened this shop instead. Which is where we met. So at least some good came out of it. But Mr Zoe, it's such a great story. Why didn't anyone buy it? It wasn't advertised very well, and in those days we didn't have the internet like we do today. But I've no complaints. I'm very happy in my shop. And now, Zoo... I think I might make you happy. <gasps> Thanks, Mr Zoe. What is it? <gasps> oh, wow! It's the Zing book! Yes, Zoo. It's the original copy. Wow. The first one to be printed. <gasps> so Zing got to go back to the mysterious <laughs> city whenever he liked. That's right, Zoo. I thought that's what Zing would have wanted. You have to print this book again, Mr <laughs> Zoe. It's really good. Oh, yes, Dad. Go on, please. Oh, do, Mr Zoe, even if it's just some copies for family and friends. Well, I'll think about it. It's the best story I've read in ages, Mr Zoe. I'm so glad you had it printed again. Thank you, Zoe. Yes, I'm quite glad about it too. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Z
zoo and Grandpa's puppet. Hello, everybody. Now, I hope all you youngsters have got someone from your family with you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Zach, mm -hmm. who's with you? No one. My dad's late. Oh, <laughs> he'll be here soon, I expect. So, um, today we're going to make something to do with your family. You could paint a picture of a relative or, or make something that reminds you of someone. The choice is yours. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. Hello? <laughs> what do you think, oh. Sue? What shall we make? Um, I know. How about something that you had when you were little? That's not a bad idea. Let's see. Um... Ah, I did have a puppet when I was about your age. Zook, he was called. <laughs> I took him everywhere. So that's what we'll make. Another Zook. Good idea. Zack. Huh? Your dad just called. He's been held up at the shop. I'm mm. sorry. Mm. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Zack. Why don't you help me and Grandpa instead? Ooh, thanks, so. Oh, I'm sure it was here somewhere. Um, is this it, Grandpa? Oh, yes, well spotted, Zoo. My old photo of Zook. Why is he all tied up like that? Well, he was, uh, he was a string puppet. Y you pull the strings attached to the wooden cross. There, see? And you could make him walk and jump and dance. Right, first we'll need some wood and some string. I've got the string. Uh, is this wood okay? Oh, just the very thing, Zack. <laughs> so, let's get started. <laughs> Excellent. Wow. Now for some paint. What colour should we make him? Black and white, like us. Yes, but what about his clothes? Uh, yellow and green. Oh, I think it would look better in red and blue. Oh. Hmm. I know. Yellow and red. A colour each. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I think we've done a grand job. They could be twins. <laughs> Happy memories. Mm. I think I'll get my camera. We need a picture of this. See you later, Grandpa. <laughs> Hello. Zoo, do you think it needs to be a bit shinier, like in the picture? Um, maybe. I'll give it a polish. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, sorry, <gasps> Zoo. What's your grandpa going to say? Uh, mm. It's all right, Zach. We can mend it. Hmm. <gasps> mm. I hope he doesn't come back before we fixed it. Oh, uh, camera, camera. <laughs> I'm sure it's here somewhere. Um, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there. Hmm. Oh, no. Hmm. I think we need to start from the beginning. Can you carve wood like Grandpa? No. And anyway, I'm not allowed to use his chisels. They're too sharp. What are we going to do? Um... Oh. Hi. <gasps> Come in, Elsie. Zoo and Zach are in the kitchen. Hi, Zoo. Hi, Zach. I finished my project. What's yours like? Broken. And I can't carve another. Well, why don't you make it out of something else? Like what? Uh, You could use modelling clay. I suppose. We could use chips. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you three are having fun. 
I'll just put the shopping away and then let you get on. <gasps> hey, sponges! We can make the new puppet out of sponges. Sponges? Well, it's certainly different. <laughs> I'll get the sponges. <gasps> yes! Huh? Here, you'll be able to carry them more easily in this. Uh, carry what? The sponges you need for your puppet. You'll need a lot. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all wow. I've got. But Grandma and Nana might have a few more. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> sponges? Yes, I think I've got some. <laughs> oh, maybe I left my camera here. Hmm. Uh, uh. Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Better not let him find it. Yeah, got to finish the puppet first. <laughs> I'll distract his attention. Um, Grandpa, have you remembered what colour clothes Zook had? Well, I'll have another think. Um, let me see. Yellow and black. No, uh, green and blue. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Brown and... and No, no, it's gone. There you go. There you go. Hmm. Sorry, Zoo, I, I just can't remember. Hmm. It's all right, Grandpa. <laughs> oh. Was there something on the table uh... earlier? No. Here are those sponges you asked for. Brilliant. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> I found a great hiding place for the camera. Your Grandpa will never find it. Good. Let's make the puppet before he does. <laughs> there you are. Three sponges. Thanks, Nana. I think we've got enough now. <laughs> oh, isn't that a picture of your grandpa's Zook? <laughs> I remember him and his truly little orange and purple outfit. Orange, orange and purple? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I think I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. <laughs> You'll never guess where I left my camera. It was... Goodness me! That puppet certainly changed a lot since last time I saw him. Uh, sorry, Grandpa. It's my fault. I broke the wooden one. But it was an accident. But, Zoo, I... But we made another one. It's not as good as the one you carved. Sorry. Hmm. No, it isn't as good. <gasps> it's so much better. <laughs> the same colours as my old Zook. And a much funnier shape. I broke the puppet. It wasn't Zoo. Hmm. I was going to tell you, but... Don't worry, Zack. All forgiven. Mm. Zoo, I know you were trying to protect Zack, but in the end, mm. it's always better to tell the truth. Yes, Grandpa. i better tell the truth, too. You didn't leave your camera under the bed. I put it there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, any more truths to tell? Yes, I'd like to own up to wanting to take a photo of you all so we can remember the day Zoo and his friends made Grandpa's puppet. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese! Here, Zach, why don't you take this and show it to your dad? You helped make it. You mean... I can keep it? Of course. I've got this photo. 
That will remind me of Zook and Grandpa's puppet too. <laughs> <laughs>